it's not the so ring. <laughs> it's not the ring. It's not about the ring. It's, it's a commitment. It's a commitment. It's a commitment. Absolutely. It's a commitment when there's nobody there, and the temptation is so strong. And that you, you still, and you still, still say, you know what? To, I am committed yeah. to this person. Sure. There are many wives who will keep scrolling through their husband's phones. They want to check where he was, what you did. You just kill yourself. Mm -hmm. Why don't you send those ministering spirits to go and do all the work for you? I've had, had cases of, of men who maybe were in the process of infidelity and stuff like that. And for some reason, they just could not do it. You never know. You never Absolutely. know. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you never know. There's something you've been asking him for, and it's always been an argument. And one day he just comes home, and it's and like, you know what? It. Yeah. You think it's yeah. you think it's magic? No. But you can make that replicate itself over and over when you send send your words ahead. The words we speak, they are life. Speak those words. Don't mice them. We know how we do it for other people. We know how we praise our customers and clients. So why why would you restrict from doing it for your husband? Mm. Wow. So those are some reasons, you know, why I believe. We no. So after a while, I say, you know what? It's twenty five days. It's twenty five days. Let's do it. So why is it important? It's very important because praying for him is an investment. The same way you say, okay, he paid a bright price to you know to marry you, like we're just joking a while on the break. <laughs> It's the same way you're also depositing stuff into your husband. A woman should be proud of her husband. Mm -hmm. Internally, externally, wherever he is. When people look at him and say, that's my husband, you should feel good about it. Why? Because I invested in his life as well. I'm praying for him. I'm praying for things around his finances. I'm praying for things around his head. It's amazing when I, when I pray for my husband about his head. I... Uh that that's it in reading your book and i saw that part where you were saying i pray for him as the head yes. it will be the head is something the head is yes. like head yes. the head is because because like, spiritually spiritually we say he's the head right mm -hmm. but if you think about it physically there's a lot that happens when in your head, head is in the right place right there are many people who they're literally brain dead no matter how well, you take care of the body or whatever. Once the doctor tells you the person is brain dead, it's gone. That's it's it. Finished. It's That's over. it. So, do I want to have a husband who, in a sense, is, is brain, brain dead, dead, or do I want to invest the time to make sure that his head is always correct? In quote, that when it comes to decisions <laughs> about me, decisions about the family, family. decisions about how wow. it affects our future, I want his head to always be in the right place. If you want to leave that to someone else to do it for you, well, I tell you that's not how to do it. Mm. When you spend the time and you say, if at the times when I do it, I probably literally touch his head while he's sleeping. Because you're mm. also literally transferring the power into that head. There are many things, as married women, there are many things that our husbands, you know, don't want to talk about. It's not like you come back from work and we are the chit chatty type. We say everything and the guy say every time. Mm -hmm. And then you mm -hmm. ask him how was your day? It was fine. Yeah, you know, he just tells you, yeah, it was okay. It was it's okay. But in the middle of that okay where one thousand and one things he Going had to think on. about. Yeah. So how do I help with prayer to make sure that everything is functioning well? So one of the real reasons to pray is it's an investment. And that investment brings back returns to you to your family it makes you happy as a wife it makes you happy as a couple it makes you happy you know as a family as well okay another reason you have to do it is it makes you selfless mm. you know as women i also found out that we in this age we tend to also think a lot about ourselves but how many of us really prioritize our husbands in that sense you may say okay i put food on the table i'm always thinking about him and but i'm saying in the place of prayer are you really trusting god for him as well because when you do that, and you're creating that time, maybe you have 10 minutes to pray, and five minutes out of that, you pray for him. That's been selfless. selfless. Because yeah. then you know that, okay, I'm not just thinking about myself and my business and my children and my this. I'm also praying specifically for him. The third thing it can do for you, it helps you forgive. Mm -hmm. In relationships, there's no way we hurt one another. My husband and I, we used to call it crown crown in those days. And <laughs> yes, I remember when we first got married, you know, you know those crown crown you have where you're kind of keeping malice with one another Unless and you're wasting quality time you should be spending you really want him to cuddle with you but you're just so mad at him that you know <laughs> you kind of go to bed angry and you know my husband and i and ensure sure he knows so you sure show yourself knows. to the wall exactly you move yourself to one to side the of the bed so that he will understand, he will understand that, that this is malice so it's happening <laughs> 
it. We are on it. It's but going you know, down. I'm you, <laughs> and then after after maybe two days or three days or something, you're back together. You just realize you were like just children. Wasted just time. wasted we just wasted time. time. So one way to reduce the level of conflicts and and you know unforgiveness or malice you can have in a home is when you pray for the person because you can't truly pray for someone you're mad at. Like malice. You can't truly pray for, for someone. Are you sure? <laughs> You can pray. Well, I'm saying you cannot truly pray for someone that you have, except you are cursing him. <laughs> well, I think yeah, that's true. But if that's you want his true. happiness, and it's coming from the depths of your heart, you can't stay angry forever. You can't. So one way to quickly get out of that angry mode is to pray for him. Okay. It makes it, it reduces the, the you know the time you spend keeping malice with one down times. The down times, <laughs> and it softens your heart to probably forgive him even if he's done something wrong. So that's, that's another reason. Uh, another reason why you should pray for him is to ask this question. What do you say to women right now listening to us or watching us um, on our website who are thinking, how do I expend this much energy praying for a man who could turn around tomorrow and dump me? You know, there is this yes. thing in the air these days where women are in marriages but they are like yes. one leg up, you know, trying to look for any sign that you just know what yes. I mean. Like, yes, and um, it could happen, he could yes. just decide to bring in someone else, or this marriage could just end, or something. So, what do you say to that woman who is thinking right now, Oh, yeah, I love my husband, I want our family to bloom and thrive, and all of that, but how? how do you expect me to invest so much and so much time so much energy praying for a man who could just walk away yeah. and go and um, somebody else will begin to reap the rewards of my prayers yes. what do you say to her absolutely i think it's also the reality or troublesome marriages where one part is doing more than the other mm -hmm. or it's even tended towards abuse now there are different applications you can have for those different sets if I look at the power of a praying woman, even in those different marriages, the advice and the counsel will probably vary yeah, depending on the situation. Yeah. If someone is being abused, it's important to take yourself out of that situation first because you, while you are praying, the person can just bring a dagger and just yeah, kill you sure, there. So sure. it's the same things that we need to, to, to be aware about. But I want to encourage every woman, independent of which category or stage you are in, Remember I said that praying for the person is an investment. And sometimes we sow seeds in places where it doesn't germinate. Okay. And sometimes we sow seeds in places where it does. But we usually don't have the luxury of knowing where it will germinate and, and where, where, it, where it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Yeah, the beauty true. of it is that in your heart of hearts, you can tell yourself that I did the best I could. I could. Because there are times when some marriages don't work and you're wondering, did I, did I do the best? I could in that situation and it still did not work or something just did not happen. You can say, you know what, while I was in there, I did the best I could. And that that helps you to find healing yeah, faster absolutely. and healing quickly than if it's more of regrets of what you could have could done. Have done. Absolutely. So I want to encourage you to, of course, seek help where we need help, professional help as you need it. If it's turning, you know, violent and all that, take yourself out of that situation, ask for help, talk about it, you know, talking on, on shows like this and, and uh, in the Wives Roundtable, there's a lot of professional help you can get, but don't give up, don't give up. And, and know that, you know, God answers prayers and he answers them in different ways, not always how we, how we, how want, we want it, want it to be. To be. Answered, yeah. Um, yeah, how we want it to be answered. But irrespective of that, you know, do the best you can. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Right? Yes, yes yeah. I do. So please, if there's anyone who wants to reach out to you, how can they do that? Well, you can find me on my website, www.mofoluwashow.com www.mofoluwasha.com okay. You can send me an email at fofo at mofoluwasha.com and you can find me on Instagram on Facebook with my full name mofoluwasha11 yes. or just google right. it yeah just Did google you? it or if you're still having trouble spelling all of that yeah. just send me an email to wivesroundtable at gmail.com and I'll give you all her contact details this is one person that you really need to talk to if you're trying to get clarity if you're trying to be more productive as a wife, as a woman, as a person, 
even men, you know, I know you do stuff for yes. them. And then if you're 40 and over and, you know, you're hitting midlife crisis, <laughs> you're still confused as to, oh, where do I go from here? I'm 40, you know, I'm getting old, all of that kind of stuff. She also has something for women 40 and above. So Fofo is somebody you would actually really love to connect with. So if you need her contact details, just quickly send me an email to wivesroundtable at gmail.com and I'll send you all her details. She's still in the studio with me. We'll be back with something else right after this. Do not touch your dad. All right, Mufolua Show has so graciously, graciously um, given us three books, three of uh, three copies of Smart Woman Praying Wife. This is a 25-day prayer journal to cover the man you love. She has given us three copies of this book, and we want to give the three of them out. So if you're listening to us or watching us on our website, um, I would like you to go on Instagram right now, follow Mofolua Show Elebere um, on Instagram, and also follow Wives Roundtable on Instagram as well. You have to be following the two accounts. And then you make a comment or, you know, comment on either Wives Roundtable or her page. But I'll prefer you comment on Wives Roundtable, actually. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> drop a comment on Wives Roundtable and tell me why you want to have a copy of this book. Again, I would say how you will do this. Go on Instagram, follow Mofoluwasho Ilabere, Ilabere, yeah, and follow at Wife's Roundtable on Instagram, and then you come on Wife's Roundtable's Instagram page and drop a comment telling us why you want to have a copy of this book. Once more, the title is Smart Woman Praying Wife, 25-Day Prayer Journal to Cover the Man You Love. Trust me when I tell you that this book is a must-have. So run over to Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram account, now is the time to open Yeah. It. <laughs> yes. So you go open your Instagram account, follow Mofo Luasha, and follow Wise Roundtable and tell us why you would like to have this book. 